Well, all homeowners know that the process of buying your home is a grueling one, and depending on how prepared you are, the process might soon get even tougher. So Greg Cooper, our real estate expert, joins us now to talk about how tough it might be and changes that are coming this summer. What kind of changes? As part of the Dodd-Frank financial reform, on August 1st, every real estate closing, not only in Indiana, but across the country, is going to become more complicated, if Ugh. that's even possible. It now means, essentially, Naomi, that every document must be approved by all parties, lenders, title company, buyers and sellers, three full days before the closing. What? Any change, and the clock starts over on the three days. So this could take longer? Um, it, it's going to be incredibly congested okay. in a lot of title and settlement companies for the first few weeks and maybe the first few months when this takes effect. This especially applies to home buyers and sellers who might be selling a home and then buying another one wanting to close on that same day. That's going to become incredibly difficult to do because of the lo level of logistics involved in, in buying and selling now. So what kind of documents are we talking about? Give us some examples here. Well, the, the primary ones, the, the current closing statement, the HUD form, if you will, is going to go away and several of these other forms are going to change completely. So the documentation starting August 1st is going to look a whole lot different. It's going to require some disclosure and some signature issues with buyers and sellers, so it's all going to look very, very different from August 1 and beyond. Okay, so this begs the question, can you anymore buy and sell on the same day at all? Uh, I think eventually it will get easier, but I think it's going to be really risky for people to do that as we get through the first 30 days of this, the month of August and maybe into September. It's going to be tough to plan those closings back to back like we do now. So how should we prepare? Well, this becomes an incredibly important issue about the advocates that you have as a home buyer or seller in the process. Please don't go on the internet and get a fly-by-night interest rate because they're not going to care whether you get closed on time and about your documentation. You must have great uh, realtors, you must have great title people, you must have great mortgage people. All of these people must be absolutely in sync for this to work perfectly, and even then it's going to be challenging. Now, one way, hopefully, maybe this would be easier is with the use of technology. So can you send things back and forth with e-signatures and stuff? That'll help, but the challenge again becomes that any change that occurs within three days means that three-day period has to start over again. And real estate closings often happen with minutia getting changed, right. sometimes right up to the hour of closing. So remember, you're going to need plenty of time, and it's going to have to be final three full days ahead or you and everybody else affected uh. by your buyer, your, your purchase or your sale is going to get affected. Okay, so is there a website where someone can kind of get all this explained? You know what, we're going to put up another video this afternoon uh, on WTHR.com on the Real Estate Update page that will go much more in detail on this and uh, it'll give you a lot of great information and certainly you can reach out to us, we'll answer questions for you. I'm at Greg Cooper on Twitter or Greg at GregCooper.com by email. We love it. Alright, Greg, thank you so much for joining us and uh, talking us through all this confusing stuff. Again, it starts August 1st. August right? 1st. All right, thank you so much.